We turn now to a college swimmer in the headlines here at home. Leah Thomas formerly competed as a member of the University of Penn's men's swimming team for three years, identifying as a male. Well, now she is shattering records on the women's team as one of the top swimmers in the nation since starting her transition. And some of her teammates say her success in the pool isn't fair. They have never shared their stories publicly until now. One of Leah's teammates sat down for an exclusive interview with investigative correspondent Rich McHugh. She wanted to talk, but she also feared worldwide backlash, so we have agreed to keep her anonymous. And while she supports Leah's transition, she feels like she and her teammates aren't being heard. Here is a portion of her conversation with Rich McHugh. How would you characterize this whole thing? What is happening? The first word that comes to my mind is insane, because um, I feel like it's something that's so basic um, that people have just somehow managed to like twist and make way more complicated than it should have ever been. In five or ten years, let's say, when we look back on this, how do you think we're going to look at this issue? I think we're going to look at the people who were making these decisions and were in charge and kind of laugh at them. And th they just like ask, like, what were you doing? You know, you had the power to change that and you chose not to. You're kind of a coward for that. Tomorrow night, right here on News Nation Prime, fairness for all versus the right to compete. And it all comes down to a head at the national championships, which are set to take place next week. You can watch the exclusive interview with a UPenn swimmer and investigative correspondent, Rich McHugh, her reaction to Leah Thomas's record breaking year and why she says she feels silenced by her coaches, the university, and also the NCAA. Again, that is tomorrow night right here on News Nation Prime at 8 Eastern, 7 Central in our new time slot. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.